Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your IMEA TV news update and ceasefire talks resume in Israel-Gaza as Rafa under fire. Uh, three hours ago from the BBC. And they didn't put a writer. Hmm. Senior officials from the US and Israel, Egypt and Qatar are meeting as Israel faces strong international pressure to stop its bombardment of the southern Gaza city of Rafa around 1.5 million people are crammed into this small border town amid fears of an Israeli ground offensive. Israel's PM rejected the del- as, as delusional ceasefire proposal by Hamas last week. Benjamin Netanyahu said total victory was possible in Gaza within months. He later ordered Israel troops to prepare to expand their ground operation and vowed to defeat Hamas gunmen hiding in Rafah. But U.S. UN Human Rights Chief Volker Turk said any assault on the city would be terrifying as many civilians would likely be killed. President Joe Biden has called for civilians in the area to be protective, and Rafah has come under heavy Israeli airstrikes, Israeli airstrikes in recent days with deaths and injuries reported. Okay, so let's keep it a buck here, right? Um, they started this bombardment literally within minutes of like the Super Bowl starting and shit, knowing that most of most of the West, like most of America, would not be watching. And people didn't come out from that hole until after the game was over. Um, because Taylor Swift kissing with Travis Kelsey after the fucking Chiefs win the Super Bowl is too much of a thing. Ah, go birds. But regardless, the point is is, is that um, there are 1.4 million people in a area the size of... I think just a just a little bit bigger than like Central Park. And there's obvious and like when you have that much people in that small space, you obviously have the, you know, apparent um you know, disease, lack of plumbing, food and rations issues like people like they certain people like like Israel's only stated 70 people have died in their offensive to get to seek to save two hostages, which, if I'm being perfectly honest, you know, I don't think I don't think the lives of seventy people, half of which are children, by the way, is worth that. But even if it was, the fact of the matter is, is that bombing Rafa, where most people currently are in Gaza who haven't been killed already. You know, most of Gava has been bombed and rendered uninhabitable at this point. Like, patently. And, um, this, you know, at, we're kind of at a point now where, where the, this, if, if everything before this was not genocide, this is. The choice to bomb Rafa, like, in the choice to defeat Hamas, the thing is, is, is that when you have a bunch of Israeli soldiers and videos presented in the ICJ chanting there are no un you know unaffiliated combat like there are no unaffiliated civilians it it really is blatant what they want it, Israel is going to kill the Palestinians in Gaza they're going to complete their genocide and there's a very good chance short of you know, international people, and short of an international intervention, it's not going to happen. So, is what it is, and it's really fucking terrible. Have a good one, everybody. If you like the show, please consider donating at himedia.gg slash donate. Have a good one.